Developing right now, a mother vanishes without a trace from a Midtown shopping center. Her infant found alone in a vehicle. Tonight, a search underway to find any clues that le could lead to her. Our Bill Baraha spoke with Laura Reed's family. They're now a thousand miles away, but they're desperate to know what's going on. So what have they learned, if anything, Bill? Well, Reed's parents tell me they actually just found out a few hours ago they live in Utah, so they're still trying to comprehend how this all could have happened. Her dad tells me he was texting with her last night shortly before she was reported missing, and everything seemed to be okay. This photo was sent just minutes before Laura Lacey Reed was reported missing. The 34-year-old smiling, appearing to be in good spirits with her one-year-old son, Zayden. We were texting back and forth. We were teasing about going to California on a vacation, getting a beach home. It kind of ended abruptly. Randy Reed and his wife Sharon say Zayden was found alone in her car just outside this Dollar Tree a short time later. It's horrible. She she would not leave him alone. There's something, something has happened to her. Somebody. Somebody has forced her into something. Since then, HPD has opened up a case. Uh, Texas EquiSearch has also got involved. Volunteers have spread out in about a five-mile radius. They've searched parking lots, put up flyers, and were trying to find clues as to what may have happened. She's just a fabulous, beautiful, smart young lady. They, her and her boyfriend, fiance, moved to Houston with their son. About a year and a half ago to two years ago. Reed says Lacey has had problems in the past, but moved to Houston to get away from that. He says her daughter's fiance, Dupree, has been a big part of her recent happiness and success. The family now pleading with anyone who may know what may have happened to come forward. She needs all the help we can give her, please. We need your help. We need you to find her. And if you have any information in this case, you're asked to call HPD's Missing Persons Unit or Texas Echo Search. Those numbers there at the bottom of your screen. Live in the Montrose area, Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Bill, thanks.